Welcome back to Common Core 1.2 Part F for fun. Johnny has 19 bottles of this soap and he gets Gina. Wait, why does Johnny have so many soaps? Mind your business, David! So, remember last time when we did square roots? Well, now we're doing cube roots. Remember that a cube root is a number that's been multiplied three times. So, 2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2. That makes 8. And the cube uh, root of 8 or cube to the third power of 8 is 2 because aforementioned 2 times 2 times 2 makes 8. So what is the cubed root or the root to the power of 3 of 216? Well you have to ask yourself what times what times what makes 216? Well there's two ways I suggest you find this. The first is if you have a cube root feature on your calc please feel free to use it. I've given you a couple examples here. One might be a case where you have a cube root of 3, such as here. You'd have to hit the shift key and then this button for a Casio of this type. Or you might have this where it's a y square root of x. And what I believe you would do for a lot of these calculators, you probably would hit like the 3 first, then this, then your number, or some semblance that you'd have to do through a little trial and error, and every calculator is different. Or, speaking of trial and error, you could just try a bunch of three numbers together, like 1 times 1 times 1, 2 times 2 times 2, and eventually you're going to hit pay dirt. As you notice, 216 is three sixes multiplied together. So the cube root of 216 is 6. However you get it is fine. So you try these three. Go ahead at this time. Well, I believe the cube root of thir let's see, 1,333 Looks like I'm going to have to dig out my calc again. I must have got rid of it. I'm going to try 11s. 11 times 11 times 11, and that is 1,331, so that's 11. And if 11 cubed makes 13, 1331, 10 cubed is going to make 1,000. And 7 cubed will make 343. Skills practice. You try. Let's see how you did. So you have 100. 12, hard to believe, but it looks like it works out. If you don't believe me, just take 12 times 12 times 12. Yep. And the cube root of 216 is 6. Now, dividing squares. Remember how we multiplied them. You just take, remember, 3 to the second power times 3 to the second power means 3 to the fourth power because you're adding exponents up. Well, for dividing, instead of adding, you're just going to subtract. Now, it is important that the first number is what you got, and the second number is what you're going to be minusing, and I'm talking the exponents. So 7 to the third power divided by 3 to the second power. You could just say, okay, 7 minus 2 and make 5. I'm going to show you a couple ways, though. Well, 7 minus 2 is 5, no problem. 3 to the seventh divided by 3 to the second is 3 to the fifth. So you try that. Let's see how you did. Hopefully you have 4 to the 12th power, you have 3 to the 20th power, and 11 to the 12th power. Skills practice time. Go ahead and give these a try. Let's see how you do. I got 5 to the 2nd, 9 to the 12th, 13 to the 2nd, and hmm, why nothing here? Because the bases weren't the same, so I can't do nothing. At least no shortcuts. Now we also need to learn this in a different way because there's a second way to do this. Instead of just taking 4 minus 2, which admittedly is an easy way, there is a reason why I'm going to show you a second way. That a division problem is one number divided by another and you can put that into a fraction with the first number going on top, second number going on the bottom. So shown here, 5 to the 4th is what we got, 5 to the 2nd is what we're dividing by. Now Think of this like a tug of war, which is top versus bottom. You have 5 to the 4th versus 5 to the 2nd, so they're going to have a tug of war. This guy over here, and this guy over here, and which has more 5s. I think you'll agree that 4 5s is bigger than 2 5s. So the top wins, but by how many? Well, the top wins by 2. So if I were to subtract 2 to both of these, this would basically go away. And this is only have two left, so five squares what wins, and that goes on the top because the top won. Another one, 14 versus 3. Well, who's got more, top versus bottom? 
top's got more by how many? Hopefully you agree that the top has a, wins by 11, so 6 to the 11. And since the top won, it goes in the top. But what if the bottom wins? Well, 14 versus 23. In this case, the bottom wins by 9. Since the bottom wins, all you have to do is you clear out the top because you have to make the fraction, though, you put a 1 on top. So put 1 over 6 to the 9th. <clears throat> you try. Try these four. Go ahead. Let's see how you did. 14 versus 5, top wins by 9. So 2 to the 9th power. T bottom wins by 15. Since bottom wins, we put a 1 on top, this fraction like this. Now, why is that, by the way? For this one here, you could all go on the top. It still could be over 1, you know, because anything divided by 1 is itself. So really, I have over 1. I just didn't have to put it because the top won. Here, bottom wins by 9. So I have 16 to the 9th. But since it's on the bottom, you put 1 over 16 to the 9th. And here, bottom wins by, well, 9. So 1 over 6 to the 9th. I guess I don't get no points for originality. Skills practice. Again, sort these out. Let's see how you did. First one, 1 over 5 squared, 1 over 7 squared, 1 over 12, 10, 12 to the 10th, excuse me, and 1 over 4 to the 109th. Now, this looks really large, but you're just subtracting. As long as you know how to do that, not a big deal. Now, dividing square roots. We're going to do this a little differently than before. If I take square root of 8 divided by square root of 2, well, the problem is it's going to be difficult, as both these roots are not perfect squares. I mean, the square root of 8 is 2.828 dot dot dot. Square root of 2 is 1.414, so that's not going to work either. Therefore, let's stack them up. This on top of this. So square root of 8 divided by square root of 2 becomes square root of 8 over square root of 2. Now, do you remember when I told you you have this, and it could become square root of 1 over square root of 4? Well, now we're going to do the reverse. Square root of 8 over square root of 2 is, just to save you all this reading here, we're going to turn this into one big square root of 8 over 2, like this. And now, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And the square root of 4, uh, what am I drawing here? Let's try that one again. Square root of 8 over 2 is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, square root of 4 is 2. So square root of 8 divided by square root of 2 is 2. And there's more than one way I could do that, but I want to use the KISS rule for now, so we'll just keep it like that. Another one, square root of 27 divided by square root of 3. Just put square root, big square root, 27 over 3. 27 divided by 3 is 9, and the root of 9 is 3. You try. Let's see how you did. Root of 128 over 2 makes root of 64. Root of 64 is 8. 1,331 over 11 rooted, tougher one, equals root of, this makes 121. And the root of 121 is 11. Here, stack these up. 48 over 12. That makes 4, so root of 4 is 2. Stack these up, 512 over 2 makes 256. <sighs> drawing a blank, I shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank. 256 root is 16, okay. And there you have that. Skills practice. Go ahead and try these four. Let's see how you did. After all this work, I got 4, I got 12, I got 2, and I got 32. Now, the same applies for cube roots. So the cube of 81 divided by the cube of 3. The only thing is, if you're going to do this, they both have to be like cube root or square root. You can't have one be cube root divided by square root. doesn't work that way. It has to be the same. So cube root of 81 divided by cube root of 3. Put them all under a big cube and 81 over 3. 81 divided by 3 makes 27. So we ask yourself, what times what times what makes 27? And you'll find is 3. 
because 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. You try. Go ahead and try, try, try. Well, 135 over 5 divided by a big cube root. Well, 135 divided by 5, I believe, is 27. And the cube root of 27 is 3, as 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Here, 512 divided by 8, cube root. 512 divided by 8 will be 6, 48, 32. I get 64. And the cube root of 64 is 4. Why? Because 4 times 4 times 4 makes 64. Here, oh, I'm going to need my calculator for this. So 7, 7, 7, 6 divided by 36. And all that's in a big cube root. Mm. 7, 7, 7, 6 divided by 36 equals 216. And that's still a cube root, remember. What times what times what makes 216? I know it's 6. And finally, 405 over 15, all in a cube root. Well, 405 divided by 15 is going to be 30. Let's see, 30, 45. No, it's not going to be 30. What you thinking? It's going to be 20, that makes 300, makes 105 divided by 15, should make 7. I get 27, and the cube root of 27 is again 3. Now this is obviously tougher stuff. You're going to need to use a calculator. You're going to need to just work this out. Now some of you got them fancy calculators. You can just plug this whole mess in, hit the equal sign, and it'll spit out an answer. The rest of us mortals have to use a smaller calculator, and that's fine too. Whichever method works better for you. Skills practice. These four, just four, these four, give it a try. This one turns into a three. This one turns into a four. This one turns into a six. This one turns into a three. We're going to stop here for now because here's part two. It's going to get a little more detailed. You're like, worse? Well, you'll be fine. Remember, common core, higher standards. I'm going to get you there. You work with me. We'll take care of it. Anyway, thanks again. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.